I'm Mario Turner with BlackLove.com. Hello, guys. Hello. How are you doing today? Hello. Well, how are you? Congratulations on a beautiful film. Thank you. Um, Regina and Raina, as producers, you chose to release Shirley during an election year. What do you want the audience and potential voters to take away from Shirley's story? Well, uh, well I think right now uh, the the country is just so just exhausted and disappointed and let down um, uh, by our government, you know, and um, we're in a space where what can we possibly do to encourage the younger generations to want to be involved in the political process, want to be um, catalysts of change themselves. And so what we hope is that seeing what Shirley did, what how, what, how the how uh, Shirley um, rallied people together and inspired a younger generation to um, get out and vote, uh, um, made people younger people feel like okay, someone that's up there in those offices that we don't see does give a damn about us, mm -hmm. um, and so. I want to continue on this, the telling of the relationship between Shirley Chisholm and Barbara Lee. The reason why that was so important was to show how here you have this woman that inspired, and Barbara Lee is still, you know, a represent. She's continued on. She's a, a representative um, as we speak. Mm -hmm. uh, she's in the uh, middle of a election as we speak, and so. If we could inspire just a few young people to want to bust up the system, mm -hmm. uh, that then then we've done a good thing. Mm -hmm. And this film explores Shirley's political career, but also her personal relationships. Terrence and Regina, could you speak to exploring that dynamic of Shirley and Arthur's growing connection throughout the film? Go go. <laughs> <laughs> I believe that um, that relationship comes from an organic space um, of trust and a shared um, appreciation. Mm. And um, you know, I, I'm honored to be next to her. But I believe that Arthur even more so with Shirley because they were destined to. He wanted. That's where he wanted to die with mm -hmm. this woman there. So it was such a natural process because I've been such a big fan and a friend and always drawn to her anyway. So that played the biggest part for us, knowing that, okay, there's a natural ground here. It's not, it's not a preposterous thing to consider. It makes it so much easier. And we got to thank um, Kim Harding. Um, yeah, for uh, the casting. Yes. Well, I mean, you know, to, to be honest, you know, like as Terrence said, we've known each other forever. And um, I've known right. this chick right. over here forever. <laughs> but in Lance Reddick as well. And so surrounding my, because Terrence was the only person we reached out to for Arthur, and Lance was the only person we reached out to for Mac. And um, John uh, saw and understood how important it is to br bring these real life relationships, how they could help mm -hmm. tell the story in spaces where there wasn't any dialogue. Mm -hmm. You know, that, that, the, the, that mm -hmm. those natural um, uh, uh, intersecting moments. <laughs> moments. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And I, I think it comes alive on soon. You see it. Yeah. And final question for each of you. What's something you think you learned about yourself while making this film? Hmm. I think for me, um, resilient, you know. I didn't know how resilient I could be, you know. Um, I didn't know um, how much um, I, how much further family uh, could extend, um, you know, just even in thinking of it, just like Lucas and Christina and two people that I don't know, did not know, um, but who um, felt like... Familial. Yeah, mm -hmm. like family. Uh, so just 
I guess learn that I can never stop being um, surprised and awed.